Oh, that is extraordinary. Gold shiny thing, and they think this is a quantum computer. That's actually not true. This is the quantum computer. <laughs> Parallel universes, these are not just science fiction. They might be more real than we ever thought. What if I told you that a secret experiment uncovered something so shocking that it had to be stopped immediately? Willow is Google's newest and most powerful superconducting quantum computing chip. Ryan Montgomery, an ethical hacker, claims to have found classified files revealing a mysterious discovery, anomalies, strange signals, and something beyond human understanding. The latest development from Google that it describes as a state-of-the-art quantum computer chip. Could this be proof of parallel realities, or was it a dangerous mistake? The truth about quantum computing might change how you see reality forever. This is terrifying. So without any further delay, let's get straight into the video. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Understanding quantum computing. To grasp the weight of Ryan's discovery, we first have to step into the strange and mysterious world of quantum computing, a world where reality itself bends in ways that defy common sense. Traditional computers are built on a simple, reliable foundation. Bits. Every app, every message, buunkage, every calculation you've ever made exists because of these tiny units, each holding a value of either zero or one. It's a system of certainty, of rigid structure. But what if the universe didn't work that way? What if information wasn't confined to a strict yes or no, but existed in a fluid, shifting state of possibilities? This is where quantum computing emerges, rewriting the very fabric of computation. Instead of bits, quantum computers use qubits. Unlike their binary-bound counterparts, qubits exist in a state called superposition, where they are not just zero or one, but both at once. Imagine navigating a maze, not step by step, but by exploring all paths simultaneously. The power of superposition allows quantum computers to process information at a speed unimaginable to classical machines. But the real strangeness begins with entanglement. When two qubits become entangled, they remain inexplicably connected, no matter how great the distance between them. A change in one instantly affects the other, as though they are bound by invisible threads woven outside space and time. Einstein himself called this phenomenon spooky action at a distance, a mystery still unraveling before our eyes. This convergence of superposition and entanglement unlocks potential beyond imagination. Problems that would take classical computers millennia to solve, cracking encryption, designing revolutionary materials, or simulating the quantum nature of reality itself can be conquered in moments. Yet for all its promise, quantum computing is fragile, almost ephemeral. The slightest disturbance can cause errors, making these machines delicate, demanding, and far from ready for widespread use. Still, the race is on. Google, IBM, and Microsoft are locked in a battle to harness this power, pushing the limits of what machines can do. And with each breakthrough, the line between the possible and the impossible blurs. Google's Sycamore processor has already claimed quantum supremacy, solving in minutes what would take classical computers thousands of years. The deeper we go, the stranger it gets. And some discoveries, once made, can never be undone. Why quantum computing is the next big thing in tech. Quantum computing isn't just a leap forward, it's an entirely new frontier. A revolution waiting to unfold, an unraveling mystery that the biggest names in tech are desperate to solve. Billions are pouring in, a modern-day gold rush not for wealth alone, but for something far greater. Control over the impossible. But what is it that makes quantum computing so urgent, so electrifying, so dangerous? Consider this. Problems we never even thought to ask now stand on the verge of being answered. In a world where classical computers already seem limitless, quantum computing threatens to rewrite the rules. It isn't just about speed. It's about shattering barriers that have kept us from truly understanding the complexity of our own reality. Take artificial intelligence. 
Today's AI is powerful, but restrained by the sheer time and energy it takes to train. Quantum computing could rewrite this equation, processing vast amounts of data in ways that seem almost supernatural. Imagine an intelligence that diagnoses illnesses before symptoms appear, foresees natural disasters with eerie precision, or orchestrates global supply chains with a brilliance no human mind could match. And then, cryptography. The locks that safeguard our secrets, banking, national security, personal data, are built on the assumption that they are unbreakable. But quantum computing doesn't just pick locks, it dissolves them. A machine with enough quantum power could unravel encryption like a child solving a puzzle. The implications? A race against time, as nations and corporations scramble to either strengthen security or exploit its unraveling. But this is only the surface. In pharmaceuticals, quantum simulations could decode the very fabric of disease, accelerating breakthroughs that once took decades. Energy grids optimized to store and distribute power with near-perfect efficiency. The dream of nuclear fusion no longer an enigma, but a tangible reality. Space exploration, financial markets, climate models, every industry poised on the edge of transformation. Yet behind the marvel lies a quiet unease. What happens when we create something we can no longer control? As the pace accelerates, so do the whispers, rumors of discoveries too profound, too unsettling to be shared. The kind of knowledge that changes everything. Governments are not just funding research, they are maneuvering, positioning, treating quantum technology as the next great battleground of power. A digital cold war, where supremacy isn't just an advantage, it's a redefinition of global dominance. But here's the real question. Are we truly ready for what we are about to uncover? Quantum computers, a threat to cybersecurity? Quantum computing isn't just another technological leap. It's a force that could unravel the very fabric of digital security. To understand why, we must look at the silent guardian of our modern world. Encryption, every bank transfer, every whispered message, every classified document exists within a fortress of mathematical complexity. These encryptions are designed to be unbreakable, requiring millions of years for even the most advanced supercomputers to crack. But quantum computers don't play by the same rules. At the heart of encryption lies public key cryptography, a delicate balance between accessibility and secrecy. Two keys hold this balance, one to lock, one to unlock. The entire system rests on problems so difficult that they defy classical computation. But quantum computers, existing in infinite possibilities at once, can cut through this complexity like a blade through silk. Shor's algorithm is that blade, a problem that would take a classical computer longer than human civilization has existed to solve. A quantum computer could dismantle in mere hours, and with that, the illusion of security vanishes. Private conversations, medical records, financial empires exposed. Governments, corporations, entire economies vulnerable. But the real danger is already here. Data is being stolen today, locked away for the moment. Quantum machines become powerful enough to decrypt it. Harvest now, decrypt later, is not a theory. It's a strategy. And then, the ground shakes beneath blockchain. The foundation of cryptocurrencies. Decentralized power digital trust. Quantum computing could reduce it to dust. Yet in the shadows of these looming threats, some fight to stay ahead. Ethical hackers like Ryan Montgomery test the limits, seeking vulnerabilities before they can be exploited. They are the guardians at the edge of a technological abyss, warning us of dangers that most cannot yet see. But encryption is only the beginning. As researchers push further into quantum experiments, something even stranger stirs. Some say these machines don't just compute, they reveal. That in their calculations, they touch something beyond our comprehension. And if that is true, then the greatest question is not what quantum computers will break, but what they might awaken. Quantum computing's hidden dangers. Quantum computing stands at the edge of a precipice, an invention that promises to transform reality itself. We chase its possibilities with feverish excitement, but beneath the dazzling potential, an unsettling question lingers. What happens when we push too far? This technology is more than just faster processing. 
It is an unraveling of the universe's most hidden threads. It is the act of reaching into the unknown, bending the rules of physics, and daring to understand what was never meant to be fully understood. And with every barrier we break, there is a cost, a consequence we may not yet see. But some believe we've already felt it. Scientists use quantum computers to model the most intricate systems, chemical reactions that sustain life, the delicate complexity of the human brain, even the structure of the cosmos itself. Yet something unnerving lies within this power. What if simulating a system doesn't just replicate it, but alters it? What if, in our hunger to understand reality, we begin to disturb it? Then there is the specter of control. In the wrong hands, Quantum computing is not just an innovation, it is a weapon. Imagine a world where no secret is safe, where encryption shatters like glass, where entire economies bend to unseen forces with the press of a button. It is not a distant dystopia, it is a looming reality. And the most disturbing whispers don't come from what quantum computers might break, but from what they might touch. A growing number of researchers suggest that quantum systems in their strange ability to exist in many states at once, may be tapping into something far beyond mere computation. Some theorists point to the eerie implications of the many worlds interpretation that every quantum event spawns a branching reality. If our machines have begun to reach into these unseen layers of existence, what might they uncover? Or worse, what might they awaken? Ryan Montgomery, a renowned ethical hacker, has sounded alarms about what lurks beneath the surface of quantum research. His investigations into corporate experiments suggest that some projects have ventured into realms that defy explanation. Trials that were swiftly shut down. Results that were buried. He has hinted at findings too unsettling to be disclosed, suggesting that certain research teams have glimpsed something that should not be seen. Some say these researchers have been silenced, that their work, once full of promise, has been locked away. The question is no longer just whether quantum computing can solve humanity's greatest problems, but whether it has already unleashed ones we cannot control. And yet, the most chilling revelation is still to come. Ryan Montgomery's most shocking discovery may have forced one of the biggest tech giants to abandon a project that seemed to reach beyond the limits of our reality. What they found may terrify you. Ethical hacking in the age of quantum computing. In the race toward quantum supremacy, most eyes are fixed on progress. Scientists push the boundaries of what's possible. Corporations chase the next breakthrough. Governments quietly maneuver for control. But beneath the surface, one question lingers like a whisper in the dark. What are we risking? Ryan Montgomery is not the kind of person who looks away. Where others see innovation, he sees vulnerabilities. Where others build, he tests. Not to break, but to protect. And then I'm going to try to pivot to the other, you know, computers inside of that network or, or in that organization, whether it be computers or, or devices. Ethical hacking to him isn't destruction, it's defense. And when quantum computing entered the scene, he realized something few dared to acknowledge. This wasn't just another advancement. This was a fundamental shift, one that could either elevate humanity or unravel the very fabric of security, of reality itself. His journey began in the familiar world of cybersecurity, firewalls, encryption, network breaches. But as quantum processors emerged, capable of shattering encryption that once seemed unbreakable, he felt a pull towards something deeper. Curiosity turned into obsession. Companies like Google, IBM, and Microsoft raced toward quantum supremacy. But Ryan had a different question. At what cost? One discovery changed everything. Google's Sycamore processor was already making headlines, but behind closed doors, something far more unsettling was happening. Using his skills, Ryan uncovered hidden logs, cryptic notes buried deep within Google's research files. What he found defied logic, even defied science. The experiments weren't just about computation anymore. They were probing something else, something unknown. Terms like quantum tunneling anomalies and dimensional interference kept surfacing. And then a chilling phrase, unintended consequences observed, experiment terminated. The deeper he looked, the stranger the story became. Qubits behave unpredictably, as if responding to unseen forces, objects shifting slightly out of phase, researchers reporting inexplicable visual distortions, glimpses of something just beyond perception. A single note stood out among the logs, stark and unyielding. Do not proceed. Risk to system integrity. 
unquantifiable. And just like that, it was shut down. Forgotten, at least, officially. But Montgomery knew better. This wasn't about secrecy. It was about something bigger, something humanity wasn't ready to face. Because if quantum computing could do this, what else was possible? Google's quantum chip and the parallel universe's claim. As Ryan Montgomery sifted through Google's quantum experiment logs, a chilling realization began to take shape. This wasn't just another scientific endeavor. It was a journey into the unknown, one that left even Google, a pioneer of innovation, hesitant to proceed. The files whispered of something extraordinary, something that blurred the line between science and the unimaginable. What had they stumbled upon? The experiment aimed to explore the interaction of quantum systems with alternate realities, a concept that had long tantalized physicists. But this wasn't just about observation, it was about connection. The quantum chip performed flawlessly at first, solving equations no ordinary computer could touch. Then, the anomalies began. Qubits behaved erratically, and data streams revealed patterns that seemed intentional, as if something beyond their understanding was responding. Log entries grew increasingly cryptic, a signal loop appeared, where the system received information it hadn't sent. Unmapped interference hinted at forces intruding from outside their controlled environment. One line stood out. Observed data cannot be localized to our quantum state. It was as if the experiment had tapped into a realm they couldn't contain. Then came the eerie phenomena. Lights flickering, equipment failing, and an unsettling feeling of being watched. The researchers felt it too a presence that shouldn't exist. Within days, the project was abandoned, the hardware dismantled, the findings sealed away. Ryan's discovery sparked a haunting question. What had Google uncovered that was too dangerous to share? The experiment hinted at realities beyond our own, but it also revealed a truth more unsettling. Some doors, once opened, cannot be closed. And perhaps we've already crossed the threshold. The unsettling truth about quantum computing. Imagine a moment when the boundaries of our reality begin to blur, when the very fabric of existence seems to unravel. Ethical hacker Ryan Montgomery recently unveiled a chilling truth. Google's quantum experiment was shut down after encountering something unimaginable, evidence of parallel universes. Since the theory was proposed, and half that time it has been known that it describes a multiverse, but what does that mean for us? And why did Montgomery call it terrifying? When the classified logs were exposed, the scientific world was thrown into chaos. Were the anomalies real? Had Google's quantum chip truly glimpsed into other dimensions? Or were these mere glitches, misunderstood by even the sharpest minds? The uncertainty itself was haunting. What we do know is this. The researchers were so unsettled that they halted everything. Internal debates revealed a stark divide. Some saw it as a monumental discovery proof that quantum systems could interact with realities beyond our own. Others feared the risks were too great, warning that tampering further could destabilize not just the technology, but our very existence. Buried in the logs was a final chilling note. Experiment classified under Section 5. Results not for public dissemination. Potential for existential risk acknowledged. This wasn't just a failure. It was a deliberate retreat, a decision to lock away something humanity wasn't prepared to confront. Montgomery didn't stop there. He raised urgent questions about the ethics of quantum exploration. If Google had already stumbled upon such a discovery, what's stopping others from doing the same? The race for quantum supremacy is no longer just about innovation. It's a gamble with consequences we can't yet comprehend. And the story doesn't end. Whispers of similar experiments persist, hidden in labs and government facilities. What happens when our thirst for knowledge outpaces our ability to handle its consequences? The question lingers, heavy and unanswerable. Have we already gone too far? The truly unsettling possibility isn't the discovery of parallel universes, but the realization that we may have crossed a point of no return. Having opened these doors, we can't be certain what awaits us, or if we're already being observed. If quantum computers can indeed access these other realities, are we ready for the potential consequences? Thanks for watching. See you next time.